Hi, everybody, and welcome to Live Gluten Free or Die. And today, we're chatting about food labels. Yeah, the tricky list in the back of your packaging that now you have to read before you consume because an item in there might kill you. In my case, it's wheat. In your case, it might be gluten. Might be wheat too, or it might be a peanut allergy. Whatever it is for you, you need to find out what it is and find out what the labeling says. And thank goodness we live in the future because 10 years ago when I started this gluten free journey, a lot of that stuff wasn't available and it is now. So let's get into it. All right, you're probably gonna need a drink with me, so let's just get into this. When you first figure out that you have a gluten intolerance or a gluten allergy or a wheat allergy like me, you have to find out what is gluten. Okay. Here's the 411. Gluten is a protein found in meat, rye, barley, and basically it's the elastic-y stuff that keeps things together. These are all the things that have gluten in them. Now, here's a tricky part. When you're reading the food label like this, all the items are organized by how much content it is in it. So it says that wheat flour is the first thing that it has a majority of wheat flour. And then as you go along, the last thing will have smaller amounts of it. Items that might have gluten in it that you might not be familiar with are stuff like soy sauce. Soy sauce is made out of fermented wheat. Anything that has malt Malt has gluten in it. Barley has gluten in it. But buckwheat, even though it has wheat in the name, doesn't have it in it. So you want to keep that in mind when you're looking at your food labels. Stuff that might have wheat on it that you don't you wouldn't even think about it having wheat is teriyaki sauce, and one of the main things in it is soy sauce. Veggie burgers, or some meat substitutes have it. Pastries and cakes. Gluten is also found in salad dressings and malt beverages, malt vinegar, flavor chips, beers, and some processed meats for sandwiches. And just because you can eat an item here in the United States, like Doritos, like regular Doritos, if you go to another country, you're gonna have to look at the ingredients list again, because if you eat Doritos here in the United States and you go to Mexico, you cannot eat Doritos because they put Doritos. So it does get complicated. And even when you're looking at your list of ingredients here in the States, as soon as you see a change in packaging, like maybe they changed the color or maybe the packaging is smaller, something's changed, look at the ingredient list. I know. You can't get too comfortable because something might change. What's great about living in the future though, is that now because the FDA has said the manufacturers have to actually put these top allergens into their ingredient list. So people with these allergies can actually look at the label and be able to find out if their allergen is in the ingredient list. And even though something says is gluten free, and if you have a wheat allergy like I do, you still need to read the label. There's a process that they do where they can eliminate wheat gluten out of items, but still put the rest of the wheat inside of their product. I've noticed some things on Char stuff where it says it's gluten free, but yet there's wheat starch in it. So you need to be aware that you might be alerted to something specific and they might be able to break that down and you will be affected by it. So just make sure that you're being safe out there, that you're reading the label. I hope this little overview helps you guys out. It was really quick, and if you want something a little bit more detailed, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm just someone who is on this journey, just like you, trying to be able to eat good foods and not die. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the link below. If you're enjoying these videos, please give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, and I'll see you next time. And be careful out there and don't die. Bye.